What's up, YouTube? I want to talk about which fragrances work better in different skin types. So, you know, I've seen Ask Men has a little bit of an article, but I think it could be a little more accurate. Like, if you have oily skin, you're going to retain scents better overall. I mean, that's one part of oily skin, but also you can... Body odor is a really important thing. Like, if you have more anaerobic activity on your skin, it can break down certain parts of the fragrance. So, you may spray a citrus scent and it breaks down the woodsy and musky components and kind of alters them on your skin in a different smell. And you end up with something different from what you thought it would be. And, you know, if you have more of that activity on your skin, you probably want to test fragrances out more. And that's where, you know, you can find one or two scents that work really well with that skin type. And then a lot of other stuff that, you know, may smell extremely dirty and cheap. So overall, first of all, if you have oily skin, then you want lighter fragrances because you retain it better and it's definitely going to project a lot of other stuff. And if you have warmer skin, definitely the stronger scents may kick th through walls really easily on your skin. So you probably want more like Usher and Fat Farm Premium, maybe Gucci Pour Homme 2, and maybe Carlos Santana, you know, Deseo by J-Lo, and you know, like celebrity scents that have less scent oil will actually work better on oily skin. Whereas if you have really dry skin and you just don't retain scents, you, might, you want more oil-based fragrances. Like you definitely want to look at the oil content. And this is where you might do better with Joe Bomb or Amen or Prada Amber Pour Homme or La Nuit or a lot of the fragrances that are stronger. You know, because that way you don't end up with something you put on and then two hours later you can't smell anything. I mean, it'll work better on your skin and it also depends on the summertime too. Like, if you really have a lot of anaerobic activity and, you know, it's really warm. Cool weather actually is one of the few scents that actually smells good when people sweat. I mean, a lot of other fragrances smell break down in the sweat and they smell stinky. But cool weather is designed for hot weather. And in fact, you know, strippers actually wear this stuff because that's one of the few fragrances they do smell good just moving around a lot wearing and sweat. So, you know, that's one thing about it. But also, you know, with skin type and everything, you want to look at the chemical composition of a clone. Like if you have oily skin and you buy something at Walmart that's $10, $20, maybe it smells okay in one person, but you may break down certain notes in the fragrance and then it smells lacking on your skin and then it ends up smelling stale and never dries down, never seems to work on you. Whereas, you know, you might want to buy a more expensive fragrance that's better made and it has better oils like... You know, an oily skin, you probably want to get something better made. If you have a tendency to have a body odor, you want to make sure that you have a fragrance that works perfectly with your chemistry. And there's always going to be some that, you know, you may get some fruity notes that get soured by the anaerobic bacteria, and then the oils break down, you end up with like some weird musk base, and it's like all musk, and smells very strange, you know, not the same as it did in the bottle. So it's important to focus on chemistry. And, you know, with dry skin, the oily scents will retain themselves better on the skin. And, like, you know, Unforgivable is a good scent for somebody with oily skin because it's lighter scent and doesn't have that much stain power. Roca Wear is better for somebody with dry skin because, you know, it has a lot more lasting power in that dry down. And Usher, again, you know, is good for oily skin, but also... Like with dry skin, Vulgari Akva is really good. Vulgari Black is really good. Gucci Envy is really good for dry skin. Anything that has a lot of staying power and more of an oil concentration is better. And, you know, with dry skin, the Gormoran fragrances tend to do better. You know, they tend to be heavier and stronger. But, you know, if you don't like Gormorans, there's also other stuff like Cool Water by Zeno Davidoff. And Cool Water Game and a lot of those actually have a bit of, a good bit of staying power for the products. Now, I personally have good chemistry with Cool Water Game, and I've had nothing but compliments. And, you know, it's in the middle, because it does have a pretty reasonable amount of staying power, and it does project. I mean, Cool Water is a strong scent in terms of strength. I have people telling me several feet away, oh yeah, I can smell it. 
And, you know, that's one of them. But also, like, there's other fragrances that work really well on dry skin. Like, you know, if you want to have more woodsy scents, the Kenzo fragrances are good. You know, if you want the aquatics, I, also, Issy Miyaki and Kenzo Per Om are really good. They're very strong. And so, usually you won't have a problem with them lasting. And, you know, if you like Wormrons and Jupe and Le Mal really are very good for dry skin. But, you know, they may be a little too sweet for you. So, you might want to venture out. And La Nui has more of a, a woodsy spice makeup. But then there's other fragrances, too. You know, you want to go around looking for other stuff. And it all depends on the bacteria and the action on your skin. Because some people will do better with certain fragrances than others will. And, you know, it just gets down to trying. So thanks.